Southwest Airlines is still scrambling after a travel nightmare this Christmas weekend. Thousands of bags are sitting at airports across the country from delayed or canceled flights. Our Whitney Miller tried to help reunite some folks with their lost luggage this afternoon, and she joins us live now from MSY. Whitney, that is a big job. It's a huge job. You know, you would think right now after the holidays that upstairs the departures would be busy. It's not very busy, but it is busy down here in baggage claim. There are a few hundred bags down here in the baggage claim. I called a couple of the missing owners who tell me they've spent almost a week without their belongings. A travel nightmare. Flight got canceled after waiting 12 hours, but their luggage made it to New Orleans, but they are still in Denver. Angie Burgos came to MSY Wednesday to find her brother's luggage. Their work computers are in it, the car seat for the baby, all their clothes, and now they're going to drive 20 hours because they don't have a flight. Driving across the country to make it to a once in a lifetime 50th anniversary party Friday for their parents. We're all in good spirits. We want to we want to stay positive and try to help each other. We wanted to try and help connect passengers to their missing bags. So we called a few that had contact info attached. It's Whitney with WWL in New Orleans. Winnie Road answered and told us she and her family of 10 were stranded in St. Louis. Right now we're trying to find a van so we can drive back to North Carolina. Winnie spent Christmas stranded in a hotel. This okay. was going to be a family, a great family Christmas in New Orleans. And it's turned into a nightmare? You got it. We were able to let Winnie know that most of her family's luggage was at MSY. Now she's worried it may never get to her. The last thing we heard was they're working on it and it could take up to a month. And you heard that right, a month is what she believes it will take to get her bags. Uh, Southwest Airlines website, though, says that they do apologize to customers and to their employees. They say prior to the holiday weekend, they were prepared, but that extreme weather that sweep the nation is what has caused a lot of uh, problems. Right now, they say they're working to rebalance the airline and to get crews repositioned. For now, live at the airport, Whitney Miller, Eyewitness News. What a mess. Thank you, Whitney. Well, taking a look at Armstrong International's flight status board, about 20 outgoing flights have been canceled today. All the ones listed right now are Southwest flights. The good news, though, it looks like there aren't nearly as many as de many delays as we have seen for the past few days.